All right, and here we move on. This is now the second coat. Maybe I'm going to go for a third, not sure. As you can see, I've got paint where I don't want it, so that's all got to be cleaned up. Um, I've tried to do it in here as best I can. <laughs> we'll need to add a little more in there, probably. Got to flip it upside down one more time. Just wanted to show you that to say this is the before and you will see the after once I clean it all up and then I'm going to try and move on to some polishing. Okay, next. I've now completed painting the inside of the head with uh, Glyptol. I'm just waiting for the last little bits to dry and then I will clean in here just one more time to make sure because you certainly don't want the paint in there otherwise the buckets may stick. Also I've painted in here. So whilst again as always it's not perfection uh, it will help the oil flow a lot better and I've painted the other side as well. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this before, but this is now finished. This is absolutely dead smooth. Really pleased with that. Yeah, I know you can see it, but you can't feel it, and that's the uh, thing that's important, is that that should be smooth. So, um, well, really, that's it now. Uh, next phase is to do the polishing. I've still got to figure that out as to how I'm going to do that. I want this polished and this piece up here and these side pieces. Uh, the head in here will be painted. I have the correct paint for that. And also the back here will be painted. Obviously not this area here or here. Um, the drive goes, I believe it's on this side. Um, the rev counter drive and on this side is a blanking plate um, and then obviously you've got your two um, oil feed pipes that go in here and pump the oil through across for the can all right I'll uh, come back to this when I've uh, got the polishing started and decided on how I'm gonna do that so, I think what I'll probably do as well is I am going to tape the head surface just to give it a little bit of extra protection. Now it's on the towel at the moment and that's fine but uh, I think uh, taping it up is going to be uh, a wise thing to do. It's not going to cause any harm that's for sure. So that's what I'm going to do next. Tape it up decide how I'm going to do this polishing. Once I've decided on that, then I'm going to decide about masking up for painting. Alright, just completed the touch up on this side of all of these. So that's good. Decided while I had the paintbrush in my hand to paint these uh, plugs. So they're done and dusted now. Um, also, don't forget to do this if you're going to do this. This area in here is where the oil flows. It runs down in there. Um, so, uh, you want to, you know, put a little bit in there. Um, I tried as best I could to get the paint down inside here and paint as much as I could reach, but obviously I can't get to everything. And I certainly don't want to get it uh, down there where the, uh, the valves would uh, rest, uh, where the springs rest, sorry. Um, all right, that's it on this particular clip. We will be back with more at a later date. But to you, it'll be within the next few seconds. See, that wasn't long at all, was it? Uh, <laughs> just something I want to throw in. Um, with using this Glyptol paint, is, it's terrific stuff, as I've mentioned before. Um, yeah, you know, you're going to get it in places you don't want it. It cleans off very easily with lacquer thinner. Bonk, lacquer thinner. Dip it a rag, and I would suggest if you do like I do, I just put some in a jar. Um, that way you don't contaminate the whole can. 
and then you can just shove your rag in there and it just takes everything off and uh, that's yep yeah, there it is there's another piece of it gone come on you can come off I told you you could come off now get off okay and there it is gone so um just a little a side note for you all right uh next i want to cut these holes out i was looking at that get these uh cut out i do have a little cutter just to trim those a little bit and basically basic ah oh, damn i hate that word what i am going to do is i'm going to take it until the line disappears that i've drawn on there because that i know will then give me the flow that i need I'll do that and I, I will video it and then you guys can see what the hell I've been babbling about my new oversized thrust washers have arrived I have only inserted one on this side as it happens and now checking the end float in both directions on one side it is three thousandths of an inch now and the other was five thousandths of an inch that's as good as I can get because they do standard thrust washers or they do plus four so you are kind of in a catch-22 situation uh, I have checked the rotation of the camshaft uh, sorry the crankshaft and it is as smooth as it can be therefore my next job will be to torque this down bend up the tabs and start putting the pistons in I'm really looking forward to that because that means I'm getting somewhere and then after I've done that then it'll be this little tricky beast here and this beastie here and this beastie here in other words the distributor drive shaft and boy do you have to get that right okay so uh, again that will probably involve using the end float gauge to make sure I'm at TDC but that again will be fun oh and, and another little thing that I have discovered and uh, if you guys are ever using this kind of engine stand I have been struggling to turn this engine over, you know, uh, on the stand itself. And I don't mean turn the engine over, I mean turn the engine over, if you understand me, by pulling the pin out and pivoting it. I was having a hell of a job. It was tough. I couldn't figure out why it was so tough, but thought, well, you know, big heavy engine. Yeah, it's going to be. Um, good old shot of WD-40. Up this hole here and up that hole there and through that hole there this baby spins like a good one now it's amazing what WD-40 can do all right next thing time to talk up and uh, bend the tabs I will show you me doing that but first I need to obtain the correct brackets for the oil pipes that go here because you've got to talk this down with those brackets on and I believe there's two brackets on this side one there and one there and I believe the other one goes there but that's a longer bracket um, they're in my boxes somewhere I now need to find them although I have bought two new ones for this side nobody seems to do the one for that side which is slightly longer all right next trick brackets and talking and less talking God, I amuse myself so much. I bet you guys are really sick of it. But hey, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. Because next, I'm going to start telling jokes. And then you're going to really be sorry. <laughs>